Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and in today's episode, we're looking at Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, and the reassurance that the Lord will fight for you. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're looking at Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, which reads, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. These are the words Moses spoke to the Israelites as they were facing the Red Sea in front of them and Pharaoh and all his army marching up behind them. They were terrified and feared their deaths were quickly approaching. The Lord had already told Moses that he would harden Pharaoh's heart and as a result, Pharaoh would pursue them. But the Lord also told Moses that he would gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army. So when the people came crying out to him, Moses told them not to be afraid, to stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord would bring them. And then, of course, the Lord tells Moses to raise his staff and stretch out his hand over the waters of the Red Sea so that they would part and the Israelites could walk across on dry land. And when Pharaoh and his army give chase, the Lord tells Moses to once again stretch out his hand over the waters and cause them to flow back over the Egyptians. There is so much that can be learned from the story of Moses parting the Red Sea and the Israelites crossing over to safety and Pharaoh's army being destroyed. But today, our focus is on verse 14 and the reassurance that the Lord will indeed fight for us. We need only to be still. Now, I have not done extensive reading or research in the book of Exodus yet, but this one verse, verse 14, is underlined in my Bible, and I believe it holds a great deal of significance for us today. We already know that our lives are guaranteed to have challenges and struggles, even battles and warfare. But one of the biggest mistakes I think we make is falsely assuming we have to fight these battles alone. That is what the enemy wants you to believe. He wants you to think you're all alone in whatever situation you're facing because he knows that he is no match for God. The enemy wants to make you feel alone and isolated because when you are, it's so much easier for you to believe the rest of the lies he's trying to tell you. You're not strong enough. You can't do this. You're too weak. You'll never beat this. You can't win. But my friend, the truth is this. As believers in Christ, we are never alone. Go back to Joshua chapter 1 if you need a reminder. God tells Joshua, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Friends, that is true for us as well. The moment before we give our lives to Christ is the very last moment 
we ever have to worry about being alone. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Listen, there are many times when God needs us to take action in order for us to move past an obstacle, right? I mean, we were not meant to simply rest on our laurels all day, every day, and then think that the life God intends for us will just magically appear. Action in life is necessary. But sometimes the battle doesn't belong to us. Even though it impacts us, it affects our lives, and we may appear to be the target of the attack, sometimes the battle belongs to God. And in those instances, we need to be still and allow the Lord to fight for us to fight on our behalf. Taking action in instances where we need to be still will only create more chaos. And I can hear the question now, but Crystal, how do I know if this is a situation where I need to take action or I need to be still? Excellent question, my friend. And the answer is simple. Ask. Ask God if the situation you're facing requires you to move or move out of the way. Seriously, that prayer can be as simple as, God, do you need me to take action here or do I need to be still so you can handle it? Look for a similar situation in the Bible. You know, God speaks directly to us, but he also speaks to us through his word. And in case you haven't noticed by now, I am always going to point you back to him. God wants to have a real relationship with you. One where, you know, you two talk all the time about everything. One where you trust him enough to get out of the way. And let him fight for you and take care of what needs to be taken care of. One where you are open to his leading and surrendered to his will for your life. I think one of the reasons we struggle so much with being still and allowing God to fight for us is the false sense of control that so many of us seem desperate to hold on to. And and I think we'll probably do a future episode about that because, you know, I mean, listen, I get it. I'm still learning to let go of my desire to control certain areas of my life. But God is helping me. He's helping me to understand real surrender and to loosen my grip a little more each day. I am definitely a work in progress, and that, my friend, is a beautiful thing. I want to leave you today with the reassurance, the reassurance that the Lord will fight for you. Whether it's a situation that, you know, you need to take action or it's one where you need to be still, know that he will fight for you if you allow him to. Friend, you have to invite him to the table. He's not going to just barge in and take over. Yes, Our Heavenly Father knows your needs and He knows your thoughts, but He's still waiting for you to speak the words and invite Him in to the situation you're facing today. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today to share in the reassuring word that the Lord will fight for us. 
I'd love to know your thoughts on today's episode and what this passage means to you, so leave me a comment and let me know. Join me for our next episode where we'll be taking a look at Psalm 46 to talk about God as our refuge and a little bit more about being still. Until then! Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.